So what we saw today in our session was working with the continuous delivery process. So for that, we have, we have seen how to set up Jenkins, how to set up Jenkins Servo, and add all the required Jenkins plugins like Git plugin, Maven plugin, and Cloud Foundry plugin to the uh, to the, the to the Jenkins server. Then we went ahead and we have created a Jenkins job. The Jenkins job will then uh, automatically use those plugins. So when we configure a Jenkins job, we will create here a project which will automatically build, deploy. Uh, application to my business technology platform Cloud Foundry and here we give our github account link along with also the build trigger that every minute it has to poll it has to check github if there is any developer who have made a change to the github account to the source code of my spring boot application and then uh, as a next step we will just kind of connect uh, to the Maven plugin. Using Maven plugin, we will detect the POM XML and we will start the automated uh, automated build for the Maven project, basically Maven install. That is gonna package your application and create a WAR file. This WAR file, you can go ahead and check on the workspace, which, the, which you can find on the server where the Jenkins is installed. And then after this is done, we use the Cloud Foundry plugin to uh, push this application to our Cloud Foundry trial account so that application gets automatically updated. Then you can always go back and check here the console output for the build logs, what exactly is happening behind the scene. So when uh, Jenkins is automatically performing the build using Maven, creating the packaging, creating the war file, making sure all the tests are being conducted, and then it's also deploying this application to Cloud Foundry. And once we are done, then you will have a running application into the Cloud Foundry account, which you can test, and then you can see I am able to load all the data from uh, from my application using Spring Boot microservice. So that's an end-to-end -end tutorial, how do you implement a continuous delivery process using Jenkins. Thank you so much for watching this session today. Have a nice day and goodbye.